Welcome back, everybody. Joining me right now is Doug Ganfield and Dr. Joshua Sabri. And, well, as you could tell, we got something interesting going on on this table. Uh, they are from the University of Northern Iowa, mm -hmm. correct? And you guys are with the Mineral and... Blackhawk uh, Gem and Mineral Black Society. Blackhawk Gem and Mineral Society. That's right. Now, as you can tell, yes, that's what we're doing here. But they do have an event coming up on Sunday. Do you want to tell the folks at home about that? There are going to be a rock show at the Waterloo Center for the Arts from 11 till 5 this Sunday. Free admission for anybody. You'll see all kinds of beautiful mineral specimens, things for sale, things free for the kids, flint napping, uh, lapidary work. And there'll be all kinds of beautiful things that sometimes hide surprises that you would not have expected. Yeah, isn't that kind of cool? To see now, otherwise. That purple one especially, it just glows. Uh, it's quite fantastic. So uh, something else that we couldn't physically bring on the set, it was a little bit too big. It's called a squeeze box, I believe. Yeah. And uh, that is uh, to practice squeezing through caves, which is something yeah. you like to partake in. So, so, so one of the things that we have that was built at University of Northern Iowa was a, a cave simulator, also known as a squeeze box. And we'll be bringing that at the show as we're showing off our booth and giving a couple talks. And it's designed to let you feel just what it's like to go through a small, tight area in the cave. So we really don't want any of our students to risk a panic attack the first time they hit one of these tight crevices. Right, and that, that's one of the most important things, mm -hmm. obviously, with something that could potentially be dangerous. You know, you gotta practice to make yes. perfect, so. Practice, train, learn how to do the science, and learn how to do it quick, because you've only got so many hours in a cave. Right, which is, obviously rewarding once you make it out and you get to see such of Earth's beautiful wonders. I mean, check out this crystal right here. This mm -hmm. is uh, something fantastic. Now, it, are these examples of what folks are going to be seeing at this show on Sunday? There will be things like this and more. Uh, we've got people who come for this in the club from 8 to 80, and anybody can join the club if they like. It's 15 bucks a year. Yeah. And we meet once a month during the uh, fall through the spring months. Love to have you come on out. And those old rock towns will turn you into pebble pups. <laughs> well, yeah, and some of these rocks are really cool, especially the ones you're seeing on your screen there. A lot of uh, illuminous rocks right yeah. there. So, yes, mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be really exciting for a lot of folks. And a lot more people end up collecting rocks than you would think, right? We had over 4,000 people at last year's show. We're hoping right. to exceed that this year. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, my, my brother dated a girl who collected rocks. And, I mean, people go crazy for this stuff, oh, yeah. especially, yep. well, this one's just beautiful. Yes. I would love to keep that on a nightstand somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, thank good you luck for the this opportunity. Sunday, and we'll be right back.